This is a brief introduction to some of the new features in PFSense 2.3. PFSense 2.3 focused on three primary tasks, re-engineering the build system, using FreeBSD's package system for the base OS and packages, and converting the GUI to the Bootstrap framework for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for a more modern and responsive web interface. The most visible difference in 2.3 is the new Bootstrap GUI. Every page in the GUI was converted to work with the new Bootstrap framework, starting with the dashboard. An effort was made to make the buttons, icons, and other aspects of the GUI more consistent and logical to improve the overall user experience. The GUI is now responsive and works well on many different size screens without the need to choose special themes for certain devices. The page will dynamically resize when the window size is changed. And as you can see by the dashboard, it eventually goes down to a single column on smaller screens. And if the window goes larger, it will revert back to the wider setup. Due to the changes in the GUI, the old themes have been removed, but there are still two choices, the default light theme seen here, and a dark theme for those who prefer a dark background with lighter text. Themes are entirely contained within a single CSS file and are easy to work with. The top menu can stay at the top of the page or follow the user as they scroll down the page. Here it's shown where it will stay at the top of the page, and here it follows the user as they scroll. The dashboard operates in much the same way as previous versions, though the specific mechanics of adding widgets and saving changes have evolved somewhat. The dashboard has a configurable number of columns to better utilize the large screens, and it will shrink to a single column of widgets on smaller screens. Here you see a wide screen dashboard layout with four columns, and it's entirely optional. You can drag and drop widgets between the different columns as you want, and then save the layout. Firewall and NAT rules can now be reordered by dragging and dropping, and separator bars can be used to provide visual separation in the rule set using text and color. see I've added a separator bar for VPNs and another for, for port forwards. The RD graphs have been replaced with a new implementation based on D3 for a browser-based interface that has a modern appearance with useful features such as the ability to disable data sources dynamically on the graphs and to view the data values at different specific points on the graph. Two sets of data can be overlaid on the same graph for quick comparisons, such as shown here with the CPU time correlated with traffic. And the data summary table is easier to read and more offers more options than the previous graphs. Here you can see there's a 95th percentile numbers for several different data points and the last and previous maximum values, uh, average values and minimums. In the advanced options, you can see there's also a way to export the data used to draw the graph, and you can also save whatever your view is the default of graphing view. The firewall update mechanism was changed so that everything is now a package, even the base OS and the kernel. Once you're on PFSense 2.3, future updates will be much easier using the package system to deliver updates in a much more robust and easy to maintain fashion. Individual components can be updated much more easily and we won't have to do a giant atomic update if only one component needs updated, for example. The package system fully utilizes the FreeBSD package utility as well and the old PBI style packages have been removed. Package installation and management is handled consistently in the GUI and at the operating system level. Searching for packages makes the process even easier. Enter a search term and click search, and it will filter just the patches, packages that match your query. The APinger utility that was used to monitor the gateway status has been replaced by a more robust program called dpinger that monitors more accurately and offers better all around behavior and configurability. There are many more bug fixes and other changes in PFSense 2.3. Many of these are behind the scenes changes 
like upgrading the base OS to FreeBSD 10.3, overhauling the build system to use FreeBSD vendor branches, updating all the various daemons, libraries, and utilities to current versions, and performance enhancements for packet forwarding and AESNI. All of these and more combine to bring you the most fast and stable version of PFSense yet. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy PFSense 2.3.